Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, those who are subscribed to this YouTube channel might know I'm a little bit fascinated with borders. Um, I've been to various points along Israel's northern border with Lebanon, that's the blue line, as well as Israel's border with Syria, that's really the uh, actually Israel's border with the DMZ. But this is actually my first time at the Israel Egypt border. Where I'm currently standing is just outside the entrance to Nitzanei Sinai and at Kadesh Barnea, which is an amazing vineyard, not exactly the place to expect to find wine. So what you can see behind me here, technically this is road 10. Road 10 is a uh, Israeli road that runs parallel to the international border with Egypt and it's closed off to civilian access except for a couple of days each month usually and then during the Jewish holidays where it's called the Hagim. I'm hoping tomorrow, or at least at the time I'm recording this video tomorrow, to go explore. But there's actually a section of Route 10 leading into Kadesh Barnea that's open all year. And what you can see behind me is the border with Egypt and you can actually also see an Egyptian border uh, station because that's the Egyptian side of the border already. So the way this, uh, this border works is kind of typical for an Israeli border. Firstly, there's a fence here. Then there's a uh, coil of barbed wire just letting some uh, cars go by. And then there's the actual uh, border fence. And just about one kilometer down this road here is the Nitsana crossing. So all of Israel's international borders have their unique qualities. The northern border with uh, Lebanon and the blue line is is considered a very, very restive border. The Jordanian border, Israel recently ceded some territory over to Jordan. And the Egyptian border is this giant border running along all along, along the Israel's southern stretch. And Israel, of course, for a brief period of time, held the land just by last year in the south in Egypt. Now, we're literally so close to the border that there's an Egyptian uh, army border post there. I can hear, I can hear the soldiers talking, the radios beeping. Uh, they're literally a few meters away. And uh, Israel fortified this border in 2017, and uh, because this was traditionally the border through which African migrant migrants were smuggled out of northern Africa and over the fence and into Israel, there was also a lot of drug smuggling. So although this isn't really a rest of the border uh, of Israel from a military standpoint, because there's a peace treaty with Egypt, uh, there was a lot of uh, smuggling. And this road here that is uh, right behind me is Route 10, uh, going in that direction. It's blocked off here, and if it wasn't for the roadblocks that the army had put up, you could literally drive all the way to the Gaza Strip and Ramah. And you can see right behind me here these gigantic boulders that are blocking access to Route 10. I was speaking with someone in Kadesh Barnea, and they said that this particular section of Route 10 between here and the Gaza Strip is never open for civilian traffic anymore. So from here, all the way westward, it's just a lot of sand dunes and a lot of fence until Gaza. 